Avi here, smiling. And then he is brother Ken, he is a youth coordinator and also serving Swami's school in Lao. And uh, I will start from the land, piece of land here. This is the land which Swami commanded us to purchase it when he came here for the very first visit in Lao. And then when he was uh, taking a tour of his school, he commanded that, why don't you buy this land here by the school? So with Swami's command, this land was purchased. And then he also instructed to build a school for boys because he said as the student grows and as their classes, they, they graduate to other classes. So there should be separate school for boys. So this school is coming up. This is three-story building, brother. And uh, there are three floors in this school. And if we talk about the land area, it is around 5,400 something square meters. And this school is built in the half of that area. Downstairs in this building, in the, on the ground floor, there are five rooms. So, and the second floor, we keep it open. And third floor, if you can see, just uh, that is for dining area and uh, Swami's room will be also there. So now we can go to the construction area. So we start from here. Uh, this is the beginning of uh, of this area. So these are the stairs to go upstairs. And uh, then this is the first room. So it can, I think around more than 30 students can sit here comfortably for one class. And uh, And uh, the second room, this one is the second room. Construction is still going on. Workers are working and if everything goes well, I think it can, it's supposed to complete in next two months. Yeah. Yes. Saram, Saram brother, can I just ask, this is, um, so this is a new school that you're developing, you're building, is it? For Swam, yeah. Swami's... Uh... What? This is the new school. Uh, the old. Uh, this is will be for the junior, uh, junior level students. Primary okay. School. So this oh. is the school for uh, secondary school for boys. So we are starting with the new construction site, the new campus, yep. and after this we will take you to the current school site. So Swami, as Brother Jitendra mentioned, yes. Swami when he came first year and visited the school. Uh -huh. And children in till grade five at that time because we progressively increase a class every year. So Ami said from class eight, the boys and girls should be separated. Right. So then as Brother Jitendra mentioned, he showed a piece of land and said you could take over that piece of land. And as per his command, we purchased that piece of land and here the new construction is coming up. So as Brother showed, uh, there are five rooms in the ground floor which he's showing now yes. and these five rooms are basically for grade 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 so for the for the five grades of secondary school and high school. Right. Okay. Wonderful. Now we'll go upstairs. And when did the construction start brothers? Uh, we started in uh, October of, of last year. 2019, so wow, okay. Almost, uh, almost eight, nine months. Eight, months. eight nine months. Wow. This is the second floor. Same area as uh, first floor, but uh, this is open. Later on, we can decide whatever we want to. We want to separate into rooms or whatever we want to do. And... Uh, Mostly it is also because of we need to set up computer laboratory 
We need to set up uh, libraries. So that's why we kept it open. So we have to set up those based on the Ministry of Education requirements. Yes. And uh, I think now we can move to the top floor, third floor. Uh, actually, Swami commanded us to build three floors for this building. That's why this building is three floor building. <laughs> This is the top floor, third floor. This is this is open now, but here will be uh, there will be room for Swami, and also there will be dining space on this floor. Uh, this is Swami's room. With the This open this room open this side also, and uh, if you see the Swami room from this side, it looks like this. But of course, it is still under construction. So, and uh, this is the roof of <laughs> top floor. Now they are preparing to put ceiling on this. So. Hopefully, it can start in next two, three months. Uh, it can finish in two, three months. And if you see the landscape from the top floor of the building, this uh, landscape in front of the school. Of course, after uh, after around, I think it is 50 meters. No? After 50 meters, there's another land. If Swami's grace, we can buy it in future also. If we see this side, after the building, uh, the land is there 50 meters more. And the Swami also was saying last time when he visited here and that in future, now they are asking six times more price than the normal, but in future, I think uh, they will come down and we can buy that land. So that's all about this building. Now we will go to primary school building. So it is a one minute drive from here to primary school. Wow, okay. That sounds good. This this surroundings really look really beautiful, brother. There's lots of trees and forests and all that. How can you tell us a bit about how Swami chose this selection, this this area? So when Swami um, was in physical body, we prayed to Swami to start the school. And Swami blessed us on 2010. Guru Purnima Day was starting a school in Laos, but uh, then nothing happened for several years. Uh, you know, we were all quite distraught about all the events that happened in 2011. And then in 2013, 23rd November, we had the Bhumi Puja for the, for the place where we are going now because we had a land. One of the devotees uh, gave the land to build the school. So we started our first construction there. And so that's how it started. And then in 2018, when Swami first came to Laos, so he was visiting the school and we had then till grade five because every year we were increasing by one grade. Um, so, and we were in different minds whether we should have a secondary school because you know the challenges to run a preschool, right? And in our hearts of hearts, we always wanted to have a secondary school and a high school. And the first thing before even we could pray to Swami or ask Swami, Swami said, he entered the class five and he said that, you know, you are very blessed because as you grow, the school is going to grow. So the school will have secondary school, high school. He said that so it was evident that Swami had his blessings to 
for us to continue further. And then when he was looking around the school, he pointed at the piece of land from where we are just coming that there will be the, the boys should go there from grade eight onwards. And so that was where Brother Jitender was explaining. And that's how it all started. And this year when Swami came, he asked to also take over some of the land around that area as well, because he said that the first Sri Satya Sai University outside India will come up in Laos. And he said that people from the region will come to study here. So that's how things are, brother, right now. So brother Jitendra is bringing us uh, to the school now. Uh, so this is our current building, brother. So this is Swami School. And and if you see, these are Swami's messages, non-violence. This is the front of the school, brother. Right conduct and uh, peace. Truth. And then this is, which we are very proud of, Sri Satya Sai School. Swami School. Thank you. Yeah, we can enter this. So this is the front of the school and my brother will take us in and we will park the car and I will request brother Ken to kindly take over and explain. And of course, brother Jitendra and I will also assist brother Ken time to time as required. So the school has two entrance brother. So this is one entrance. And then there is another entrance. Um, and we basically keep that entrance closed because we always bring out, bring in Swami from that entrance. So this is the temple of the school. And uh, this is the temple of the school. And you will see there is Swami, Lord Ganesha, and Lord Buddha. Uh, so this is school and brother can you can show this Here's something and uh, this is a uh, school land and the building school <laughs> sorry <laughs> no problem so this is the school building brother so this is the school brother ken is a very humble person so he requested <laughs> me to carry on so this is <laughs> so this oh, is the okay, school sorry. and very much similar to what brother Jitendra explained. So we have a number of classes. We have eight classes on the ground floor. So from we have a kindergarten class, but generally Saturdays we are closed. But this Saturday the students have come because after COVID, the government has come with a regulation that class sizes should be halved. And so children should come on alternate days. So that's why we have children coming in today. You might, I think they have gone for prayers. Uh, Brother Jitendra, you can take it over and you can explain from grade one to. How many children do you have in the school? 276 children wow. we have. Wow. Amazing. And uh, all together we have 13 teachers and, uh, and also 16 support staff. So it is around 29, 29 staff members. So I think uh, I I will turn like uh, landscape because uh, the it it is not showing well. Let me show you oh, once again. Nice. So if we see from uh, I will once again start. This is the in front of a school. This is the temple, as explained by Brother Abi. Let me show you the school building once again. If we see in front of from the front, it, it looks like this. Uh, this is two-story building. So it starts from nursery to uh, class seven. So this is the building. Uh, we will send, send you photographs of this building also. Later on, after this tour. So let me start from from the office of the school. <clears throat> mm. 
this is the principal room and our administration room and this is for nursery this is nursery classroom so last time when swami came here he was uh, every time actually swami came here twice and he visited and blessed all children in every room and swami took photographs swami was very happy this is grade 1 uh students uh only few students are here uh were here but they went i think they are having breakfast next day they are sent breakfast well how many students are in each class brother this there's, there's about 30 or 40 students is it around around 35 we have around 35 to 40 students in each class because yeah. last one before we had a plan to have only 24 students in each class but now we have now 40 students because after swami said to have to separate the school into boys and girls yeah from grade 8 onwards we have at least 70 to 20 girls students and 70 to 20 boys wonderful and and how are these students coming to the school like how do they how do they find out and who are these students are they mostly mostly from the area or how do they find out about the school and how do they join the school um mostly word of mouth brother and uh, as we started the first class session was on 2015 september mm -hmm. and we started with about 67 students at that point of time uh show this 67 students uh, at that point of time and yes. uh, we started till grade 3 and since then we have been increasing a grade uh, every year and to answer your question is a word of mouth and actually when we started the school we made a uh, we took a decision that if students want to come from other schools we will not take more than five children coming from any particular school because we didn't want any school to suffer as a result of us starting the school and we have never advertised or anything but nowadays with swami's grace very difficult to get admission in the school brother wow because now <laughs> we don't know what to do even there are cases i tell you it's very funny for, for our kindergarten we have only one kindergarten class which we call pre grade 1 uh, because we found that then it's easier for the students to gel well like uh, we have a maximum limit of 40 but now we have 42 students because there has been one instance when we told many parents that we cannot take any further kids so one parent came and dumped and sort of left his, her kid in the school and left <laughs> so there are instances like this and then oh. we also came across people not knowing that we are involved in the school saying that you know very difficult to get admission in that school <laughs> so now from his grace brother and yeah. as Swami mentioned once in his uh, mudanal in mudanal in his premamritam speech that he is so happy with the kids because uh, every year grade 5 they have a board exam primary school final board exam which is across all schools in laos and you have to do admirably well you have to get above a certain grade point in each subject there are 13 subjects to be able to get a certificate of merit from the ministry of education so very good schools brother mm -hmm. they get about 40 50% of their kids they get that but uh, last year when our children sat for the grade 5 exams right. more than 90% of our kids wow. got certificate of merit and Amazing, brother only four kids uh, could not get that and they missed it by one mark all the four kids oh. so all his grace that is right you know, so that's wonderful brother and even before that because this was, uh, last year was the second year and even in the first year more than 90% of the kids got that certificate of merit 
so we so this is the meeting room we can show the yeah. teachers this one is the grade two and then this is the meeting room teachers teachers room teachers. 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 <clears throat> you, yeah. you said you have 13 teachers right uh, 13 teachers yes and and how are your teachers coming as well how do how do they find out about the school and what stories do you have about the teachers uh for the teacher selection process i think brother we can explain for them so uh, as brother jitendra mentioned we have 13 teachers right now brother mm -hmm. so what happened where the first round of teachers fortunately came from a number of teachers we they were not real side devotees but we a number of walking into the room uh, this yeah, is this grade 3 So a number of teachers who uh, knew us because we used to organize uh, the Balvikas classes, the education and human values classes. So, so some of them applied. They were all uh, having. They were all people with having teaching degrees. So they started. And since then, we have some of our senior Balvikas students who have passed university. So some of them have joined. So we have three of them currently working with us. Brother Ken was, is one of them. And nice. so this is how the teachers are selected. To Wonderful. give you an example, uh, the this current is, principal, uh, this is great. Four. This is great for the current principal and of next the school one is grade five. Is, uh, has just given birth to a child and she is supposed to be on leave for at least for three, four months. And we, but she is coming after a month after giving birth. I mean, it's not a good practice. We told her not to come, but she is. Uh, I mean, the dedication they have. Dedication. Is, yeah. Is, is, wonderful, brother. Wonderful. So now we go upstairs, brother. Okay. We heard that the children are in the in the prayer room, so we will take you in a bit hurry because we don't want them to wait for. So the prayer room is on the back side of the school, but we'll show you the second floor of the school. It has from grade six, seven, the two classes. We have also a small library which we are building now. So this is grade six. Grade seven. <laughs> Artwork of a student. Uh, this the student. <laughs> oh, some his picture. So they draw it. Wow. This is the library. Wow, very nice, brother. So we are building up the library. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things Swami told us that we have a habit of reading. Sorry, brother, we couldn't hear you. Can you repeat that again? Sorry? We couldn't hear that last bit. What did Swami say? Swami said that the children should build a habit of reading. And he said that a library to come up. And then Swami also told that children should also have a computer education. So we have set up a computer lab as well. Wow. Brother, I remember two years ago at the youth meet, um, there was some discussion about how the other youth from the region could help with the library and the computer set up, computer room set up. Um, did, that, did that happen or is there anything that we can help with? That did not happen uh, as of yet because I think the youth, they have also a lot of challenges of their own. Yes. Um, we try to do it at our end at this point. Yes, because we are also planning to set up a, a, a similar computer lab in uh, the new school. And also we need to set up a library in the new school as well as the children go there. I mean, the right. boys go there. So that requirement is still there. And of course, more books for this current library is also... So, so you're looking for more books and then some help with the computers, is that right? Uh, more books, uh, 
more furniture, more computers. Okay. Actually, yeah, brother, maybe at the end of this tour, you can help. Maybe when we have a, a little session at the end of this tour, you can share with us what kind of help you need, and and maybe we can try and see how how the other youth can help in any way that they can. Yeah. Yes, definitely. So these are all the new classes which have not started yet. I mean, we do not have classes till class ten. So these are all the because we have not started till seven. So we are a bit rushing now, but we want to take you to the back of the school. So we are coming down from the first floor to the ground floor, and then we will take you to the back of the school. And if we go to the back, so Swami always takes, loves to take this road. He refuses to take the car. Because there is another way we can take the car, but Swami always says that he wants to walk to the back of the school. So we are taking you by the path Swami generally treads here. And it's wonderful, you know, last time when Swami was here, so he came to the school and he said, what are the students eating? So it was a simple soup that was given to the student. And that day lunch, Swami when was offered a lot of food, he only ate the soup. I mean, he finished the soup and he did not eat any other food. Wow. He said the food is so delicious. <laughs> this is the playground. So we have a badminton court, a volleyball court, a football field, and a basketball court. And you will see brother will take you to the Sri Satya Sai Clinic. So this is the Sri Satya Sai Clinic. And we'll just take you, this clinic is not only for the school kids, but also for the local communities. And Swami told us to also start a mother and child health program. So which we will also commence. And so as per his command, we have a mother, we have set up a mother and child clinic. So this is the clinic, as you can see, for the mother and child examination. The clinic runs from Monday to Friday, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Then we have a dental clinic. So we have, I would say, state-of-the-art missionaries. And here is the place where all the equipment to sterilize, so on and so forth. This is the room for small incidents and accidents. Suture room. Here are the medicines which are there because we provide free consultation and free medicine to the local community as well. This is the consultation room. And this is the reception area. And Swami said uh, in 2018 that this clinic will become a hospital, and this is his words that one day surgeries will take place. It's really beautiful, brother. This is so, yeah, everything is so well kept and so well designed. Uh, and we have also a second floor where we have made it currently an accommodation for if there are some teachers coming from abroad, like Swami said, one of the Satya Sai school teachers from Thailand to be based here. So, Brother Alan, perhaps he will come and stay here. So, Brother Kerr, you want to explain about the. Oh, anyway, that is good. So, this is Brother Kerr. Hello. He works for the UN. He Hello. works for. He's also uh, 
engineer. He has many, many credibilities. But anyway, so this is the kitchen. And today you see people are cooking food, not only for the children. We are also going to the blind, uh, to the pregnant home. Because we have started that program of each one feed one. So about 220 to 240 people. So we go once a week. I do food for them. So that is a machine, for example, to cook rice. We can cook rice about 100 kilos in in about uh, 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah. That is so good. <laughs> We need one of those in all of the countries. I think. <laughs> Brother, um, this is dining area for, for school children. Wow. And this is the school principal who I was talking about after giving oh, birth to carry this child to the school. We told her so many times not to come, but she said that she's worried about the students because they have to sit for exam. Wow. Thing, brother. Now we we'll go upstairs to the prayer room. I mean, half of the kids will have because today, as I said, the government has made a new rule that only half the children can come at any one day. So they are doing meditation here. This is the place every time when Swami come, he sit here, talk with children, give discourses in the school. Do you want to hear Ganesha Prathana? Oh, yes, brother. Please go ahead, brother. Okay, just very quickly, no? Because they. Ketchup and Saunum and two four chow, you put a single four ostali, no? Kapunya Satya Sai, Ketaya Kamsi, Bolu Om Ganana. This time when Swami came, these children also did Nirvana Shatakam. Wow. They also did Namakam Chanmakam. So yeah. beautiful, brother. Thank you so much for sharing. So, we will go for breakfast now. Dialogue. So this is half of our school. Not half, less than half, because grade five they have to come every day because of their exams. <laughs> So that is uh, the sort of the end of our show, no brother? So if you have any question, please feel free. Okay, Last. thank you. Thank you so much, brother. That was, that was such a beautiful tour of the school. I, I couldn't imagine it before. And so now seeing this in person, it was really, really nice, brother. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, uh, I'm just going to uh, open it up to the to the group who is here and see if anyone wants to share any 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 words or to ask any questions. Um, brothers and sisters, is there anyone who would like to to um, ask any questions or share any comments with Brother Avi and Brother Jitendra from Laos? Uh, I think Brother Uday wants to share something. 
Karam Vedha, Avi and uh, team, thank you so much uh, for taking us through this virtual tour. Like like Dinesh said, we, we, I haven't been there in person, but literally we've seen it through your eyes. Uh, so thank you very much. But my question is specifically with regards to the school that we just saw and the construction of another building. How long has this school been uh, uh, there and uh, when was it constructed? Uh, was it was it one of the things like in Chikbalapur you went and took over a school or this was constructed uh, on Swami's command? So, as I mentioned, brother, this we took permission of the school uh, from Swami on Guru Purnima Day on 2010 at Kwati. But uh, nothing happened for quite some time and uh, we started in all earnest, this was on 23rd November 2013. We had a groundbreaking ceremony in Laos and uh, in Rajan, in the school site. And then the school was operational from 2015 September. Wow. And then when Swami visited us, Swami commanded us to um, start the section for the boys. So that's where we have started the new construction site where I took it. Swami just pointed his finger at that piece of land and said, get that piece of land. So, okay. so, so there's a high school and there's going to be a university. Uh, will there also be a pre-university? Everything is free for Swami school. So the university, sorry if I understood. You said pre-university. Pre yes, 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 pre. P-U-C, like, like your 11th and 12th, or what we call intermediate. Um, Absolutely, brother. So this school, uh, so the current campus where you are uh, currently, it will be having the primary school where well, boys and girls are there till grade 7. And then from grade 8 to 12, that means covering the P-U, will be in this campus, the girls, and the boys will be going to the new campus from grade eight. Uh, so they will also have the PU in their camp that campus. Yes, it is the entire range program. So we have a pre-grade one, so it's a kindergarten level. Then we have grade one to grade five, uh, which is the primary level. Then we have grade six to grade um, we now have grade six and seven, so we will have grade six to grade nine, which is the secondary level, and grade uh, 11, 12, we will have as a high school or pre U, and then the university. That's amazing, brother. This is like Puttaparthi all over again, from KG to PG, right? Yes, it's very true. Very true. I, you know what really baffles us is uh, Laos is a very small country, we are very few people. And for whatever reason, Swami has taken so much love. I mean, he has love for everyone, but and he could have done it in any other country, right? Which has, right. In Laos, for whatever reason, he said, you know, and made us all very, very grateful to him. And he said, the first three subjects I need to sit outside India will come up in Laos. So, for whatever reason, he has his grace on the house. So, we do not deserve it, but uh, his grace. Absolutely, brother. Thank you so much. Uh, I, like like Dinesh said earlier, we probably, you know, uh, if you could share with all of us what is the requirement or we could take it offline uh, with regards to the computer lab and library. Kindly let us know what is the requirement and we'll try and see how to, you know, uh, 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 assist you all. Yeah, we can send you the information, brother. I can uh, send over the information on the yeah. computer lab yeah. and library. Definitely. Sure, sure. If you can share it with Ryan, then we, we'll take it uh, ahead uh, with him. Sure, brother. We'll do it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Dinesh. Thank you, brother. Sign up. Thank you, Uday. Thanks so much, Uday. This is uh, really, really nice, brother. And and uh, you mentioned, okay, we met Brother Jitendra, we met Brother Kerr uh, and Brother Ken. Um, just curious, how many youth do you have in Laos, brother? Um. 
I don't know. I mean, everybody is a youth. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think active voice, I mean, people who come uh, sort of regular bhajans or something will be about 20 active youth who have been with us for many, many years since they were a little kid. So, we have been uh, with them. So, they used to come for regular SSCHP classes. Yeah. Something which is also very interesting in Laos is that we have regular SSCHB classes from 5.30 to 7.30 in the evening. But of course, the classes have stopped during the COVID time. So a lot of youth has come from that. And uh, yeah, not so many, but we are hopeful that uh, with uh, as this uh, school grows and we have more children, so we will have more youth coming from our students. Do you have any sh uh, any s stories or experiences with Swami that you want you can share with us um, from the school? For the school, you mean? For the school, yeah, for the school, or for for yourself personally. I think personally, I the whole. I, I do not know, brother. It's very difficult to say the whole. You know, I always say that, you see, um, let me first say the whole existence and uh, especially considering that, especially I am a person of so much limited attributes, so much limited quality, and that he is making people like so many of us who are involved in Laos, I mean, the other brothers are much better than me, but so many, uh, we are a very small team that, that these things are coming up is itself is a great grand miracle of Swami, you see. We were just discussing before signing up to this, that whatever Swami is doing in Laos itself is a miracle. Personally, there has been so many instances of so many things happening, brother. But uh, it is also his grace that he doesn't have to do some Stupendous, a great miracle, no, to save us because we don't want to be in that sort of a situation, right? Falling off a cliff or something. So in that way, it is his grace. But uh, yeah, I mean, there are so many miracles, big and small, brother. So what to narrate? You want to narrate something, brother? Yeah. I mean, his love is the greatest miracle. Yeah, I mean, uh, exactly. I mean, <laughs> that we are living and breathing is a miracle. I don't want to make it sound dramatic, but it's true, brother. Yeah. We all tell that. There are so many more competent people around, and truly, it's not a matter that we are trying to be humble. There's so many more and more competent people than us. We are nothing, but still, he's allowing us to do this, and he's keeping us in his fold at this point of time. It still is a miracle, brother, because we are a very lazy group of people, brother. So, I think that is the greatest miracle that he still has kept us in his fold. Such humility, brothers. I mean, uh, we can see, you know, that you and all the other brothers and sisters, there is so much love and so much um, humbleness or humility that, that's exuding from you. It's no wonder no, that Swami is powering so it's much. It's not humility, it's the reality. We tell you the truth. <laughs> Sometimes humility sounds as humility, but it is the truth, brother. It oh, is brother the we truth. can learn so much from you, brother. Um, Brother Ryan, is there is there anything that you'd like to, to add or to ask? Sorry, Brother Abi and, and team, since they put me on the spot, I actually had a question. <laughs> I wanted to ask, right? Um, thank you, thank you, first of all, for, for, for making this happen, for making this possible, for taking the time and for you know showing us around. It's really so inspiring. I wanted to ask about the experience you feel or what, what all of you discuss together or basically the experience and, and the mindset after Swami gives you know the team an instruction or when he gives advice and how how the process and your own experience from when Swami gives that guidance or that instruction and then how it turned into reality like you say. I think the the reality, I mean of course as Swami says, these are all opportunities for our self-transformation. But I think we, across all the different countries, you know, Swami has given all of us different kinds of, of instructions and the different projects or 
or different mm-hmm. opportunities to serve for, for different countries based on the needs, so on and so forth. Um, but I mean, what, what you, you, you guys are experiencing and have done there and continue to do so are just magnificent examples. And I really wanted to understand better and hear from you as to that experience from, from that point when Swami gives that instruction and, and to where, where you are today. Thank you. Um, if I say something in, in the course of my response, please do not treat, uh, treat that as humility. It is absolute reality. So first is the first thing I would say that we are an incompetent group of people here. But of course, uh, Brother Kerr and Jitendra is much better than the rest of the team. But we are a really good group of incompetent people here. Whatever you have seen is really wonderful. And this can only happen because of this grace. But what we have decided as a team here, although we are very small and whatever it is, that whatever he commands, we try to follow it and do it. You know, for example, the new school site where Brother Jitendra and Brother Ken were showing around, Swami, when we were at the clinic on the first year, at the site where the clinic is, he pointed at the piece of land and said, get that piece of land and start building the boys' section there. Now, then we started looking for the owner of the land. We could not trace the owner of the land. And in that meantime, another piece of land was made available, which is directly opposite to the school. You can point out where that land. You see the trees, uh, that land was made available and which is a bigger parcel of land and was much less priced, brother. But since Swami pointed to that area, we ignored this and we paid a higher price to get that piece of land. So we try to implicitly follow whatever he says. And finally, what I would like to say is that I cannot claim that we have some spiritual sort of something extra or nothing, brother, but when Swami was telling that, you know, there would be a hospital, there would be surgeries taking place, there will be a university. I had the feeling that all these things are already there, only we cannot see those things. You know, I, had, I felt for the first time in my life that those are already there. It's already, you know, but I cannot see those, uh, those structures and those buildings and those activities that are taking place. So basically, my, our understanding is that he will do he will do everything. It's whether we are blessed enough to be part of that action. So the only prayer that we have to Swami is somehow keep us involved, Swami, in your in your divine mission. That's it. He does everything, brother. But uh, uh, the challenges that we have is also part of his grace because otherwise we would not learn anything no, brother. if things happen very easily and smoothly then there's no learning from that or there is no development from that you all want to add something brother. I want to say something so that's our response brother Thank you, brother. I think your, your, your response is so profound and you put it so beautifully in, in a simple way. And I think that reflects everything that I wanted to, to ask about. Thank you so much. Um, do anyone, does anyone else have any other questions for our love, um, brothers and sisters from Laos? From our side, we don't have any questions to you, but uh, <laughs> it would be great. if you visit us, that would be great. Yeah, and enjoy you. the school's food because Swami <laughs> liked it very much. <laughs> Maybe school, school food will help you to reduce weight also a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it will be really nice to to make a visit to Laos. I think uh, once you know international travel is back in in flow, such a such a nice beautiful place that you have there, and uh, we really look forward to coming there. <laughs> Okay, so if uh, nothing more, then we can be request to take your leave. I think on behalf of everyone here this morning, thank you so much again to our brothers and sisters from Laos. Thank you so very much. It was such a moving and inspiring session. And we really can't wait to visit you there, like you said. 
and thank you for this experience. I think Brother Uday put it beautifully. To see, to see what's going on through your lens has been a beautiful experience this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to, to all of you. And to everyone else for joining us. I mean, thank you, Brother Ryan, and uh, all the brothers and sisters for sharing, I mean, spending some time with us in Laos. So on behalf of Brother Jitendra, Brother Kar, Brother Ken, and all of us, uh, Sairam brothers, thank you so much for spending time with us, Sairam. Sairam, brother. Thank you, brother. Most grateful. Thank you. Sairam, brother. Sairam. Thank you so much. Brother Dinesh, uh, next weekend, next Saturday, Next Saturday, yeah, next Saturday we have Brother Nitya Shanti uh, who will be running a workshop actually. It's going to be a workshop, online workshop for the youth. So it's 10.30 a.m. Indian time. So uh, I think if you want to see what the local time in your country is, you can look at the event that uh, Brother Yudhishthira has put up on, on the forum. And um, I think it'll be a good one. I think it's called The Joy of Practicing Everywhere. I think it's called. Is that what it is? Sounds like it, sounds like it. <laughs> so hopefully uh, all of you can join us next week and, um, and do spread the word to everyone else in your countries. If you know that there are youth who don't know about the forum or the events or the satsangs, please do share the news with them. We'd like to see more people join the satsangs. Thanks everyone and, and goodbye to our brothers and sisters from Laos. Thank you so much again. Thank you, Sairam, everyone. Thank you, Sairam, Sairam. Sairam. Sairam.